So I'm assuming they're gonna take the Nissa and then just use the minus one to get rid of the Silex. But I'm assuming they kind of know. Oh, that was a mistake, and I think we're gonna capitalize on it. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Mana Mana, and today we got a juicer for you. We've got the stylish Silex. Now, this is my first time playing with this card absolutely bananas now for four you can exile the silex each player is going to choose six lands they control destroy all of their permanents you can only activate it as a sorcery but for two you're going to reveal a planeswalker card and put it into your hand so that is the reasons why we have like our top end if you notice this deck is pretty much mono white until you get into the later stuff here with run breaker of silence titan ministry and missa so we do need the planeswalkers because when we do blow up the board our point the point of the deck is to grab our planeswalkers so i'm only running one eternal wanderer because the eternal wanderer is minus four we do have um depopulate which i'll get to here in a second but eternal wonder we do need at least one in case you already have like a nissa or you just need something else to make use of the silex when it goes kaboomy so what's kind of the theme here well i am not running sunfall and why am i not running sunfall because i'm running a thron which is only indestructible on our turn also we have shield counters so we got the sanctuary warden enters the battlefield with two shield counters on it of course when you exile the shield counters are no use titan of industry this also gives a shield counter and also has different things that we can do and you just drop this thing it's just a good card in general so again with the shield counters that is why we're running depopulate urza silex also blows up the board and that's kind of the reason why we're not running sunfall the next reason is because the restoration of a ganjo whenever you so you play this on turn three you get your planes cool and then your next turn is you have four mana so you have four mana open then you can depopulate if you have Sunfall, it's too awkward with the restoration of a Ganjo because you play the Aganjo the next turn, then you depopulate, and then the next turn you get the Architect of Restoration for free. If you play the Restoration, if you if then you have Sunfall, that's turn five. Then you lose your Architect of Restoration. So the, it, there's a synergy problem there. And plus, with all the shield counters, we're just running depopulate. We don't need Sunfall in the deck. It does not work as a synergy. Now let's go into the Clay Fired Bricks here. This is a new card. Whenever it enters the battlefield, um, you can craft it after getting two life and getting some planes. So mana is never really that big of a problem in this deck. Now with the clay fired bricks, you can craft with an artifact. You can craft this with the Silex. If you notice, you don't have to blow up the board with this. This just says whenever it's exiled, you get to pay two. And when you do, then search your library for a planeswalker. So you can, I know it's a lot of mana, but with the treasure map, with the clay fired bricks treasure map also goes very well with restoration of a ganjo with the clay fired bricks you and the restoration of a ganjo you have so much land that it's not that big of a problem it does cost nine this way but it does come up sometimes craft with the urza silex you don't have to blow up the board and then you still get the gnome creatures and you get to get the, the planeswalker stuff so also running get lost and some much march of otherworldly light just for some removal so it's pretty much mono white moving into these big green spells and i think this deck really really works I'm a big fan of the Silex. Let's get into it. Go ahead and leave me a like. The button looks just like this. Helps out the channel tremendously. Consider joining the channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And you would help be supporting me as a content creator. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Steven, so not Steven, Steven. Well, how's it going here? Let's take a look at what we got in our hand here. I'm kind of liking this. It is like, a little, it does play a little bit awkwardly just because um, we don't really have like Sunfall or something like that, but um, we do have the Depopulate. Most of the time it's fine, sometimes it's not, but when it's not, when it is okay, it's great. All right, Blood Tithe Harvester, that is no big deal. I do have the Get Lost. Sometimes they do make use of the Get Lost. I don't feel very good. But most of the time that we do kind of take control of the board later so no green cards i do I, I promise you i promise you we are running green cards in this deck but they'll show up later the beginning is a little bit more controlly white okay so thrill seeker they are tapped out so they can't do the, the backup shenanigans just yet let's see if they want to put it on the harvester yeah i don't really feel like taking five to my face so let's go ahead and let's get lost get lost and the more I play Get Lost, I am enjoying it. It's either between that and, like, the Soul Partition. Let's go for Restoration of a Ganjo. We are going to need uh, lots of land here. Now, the reason why I really like to populate over Sunfall in this deck is because of the shield counters that we have on our big creatures, obviously. But Depopulate goes a lot better with Restoration of a Ganjo. Because on the Ganjo, 
if you run Sunfall, the, it's too awkward because then your Restoration becomes a creature. If you're running Depopulate, then we can just use Depopulate and then the next turn you get the creature. So it makes a huge difference. I don't, I don't think you can really run. I mean, you can, but it's not really nearly as good. So we go for another Thrill Seeker. Let's see if we can find some Thrills here. Just thrilled to see the Thrill Seeker. Gift of Fangs. Okay, so they are tapped out, but unfortunately they are still going to get some damage off here. I don't really care about the damage here so much, so... Um, it wouldn't... Do we want to go for the Spirit of Companion? I know that we're going to go for Depopulate, but honestly, just being able to draw a card feels pretty good, and I have nothing to ramp up into, so that feels fine. So let's go ahead and Depopulate. They are going to get a draw from the Harvester, which sucks, and then we lose our Companion, but I don't really care. The Companion will just draw a card, so... Gift of Fangs, though. I have not seen Gift of Fangs in a very, very long time, but I think it's a pretty good card, honestly. Especially in, like, a Vampire Tribal. Alright, so Blood Letter of Alcazar, that's fine. We can, I mean, we've got plenty of removal here. But again, yeah, like I say, if we were sitting on a Sunfall, this Restoration that's about to flip over, we would have to get rid of it. So, uh, for that reason, you pretty much just have to go for Depopulate, in my opinion. Blood Letter of Alcazar is a really good card, but we have plenty of ways to take care of it. So, let's just for the Restoration, no big deal here. Looking good. It's either between this and dropping the Prairie, but the March of Otherworldly Light, let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, or, whoops, let's, uh, yeah, let's go for four, boom. Let's tap out, but this is well worth it. This bad thing can get out of hand pretty quickly. And now we've got our Architect of Restoration. Feels good, feels good. Still no green cards, but that's okay. We will show them eventually, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Maybe they just scoop before that. Alrighty, no more Architect for us, but that's okay. The, arc the, the Restoration of a Ganjo did its job. It gave us more land. It gave us another card draw from the Spirited Companion. It's fine. Ada removal spell, so yeah, I think we're I think we can live with that. Clay fired bricks. When that card goes off, and it's really, really fun. It's a really, really fun time. Ooh, Sanctuary Warden. Okay, so I guess we're going to forego dropping the Restless Prairie again. I just want to get my Sanctuary Warden. And because we're playing against Rakdos. I don't think they really have a splendid way to really get out of here because, yeah, they're just going to deal damage or they're going to destroy, and we got one more shield counter. I think we're looking good. I think we're looking pretty gosh darn good here. I'm not even sure what they could have. If they're running, like, Vampire Tribal, I think Sanctuary Warden pretty much is just going to put the kibosh on the game, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, big score. Are they, like, Reanimator? Big score? That kind of threw me off a little bit. Why are you running big score there? Markov Baron, okay. Lifelink Convoke, that's fine. The big score kind of threw me off though a little bit. Why are they running big score? Now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> now I'm a little nervous. Okay, map token. They do have to kind of reveal this. So let's see what they got. A Soren, okay, so yeah, so more vampire stuff, so okay. Restless Prairie. The Restless Prairie is a pretty gosh darn good card. I actually did make a short ranking the all the restless cards and i i, I no i ranked all the excellent restless cards i think five was the demir one four was gruel three was azorius let's go and swing in here take a thing two was the prairie and then one was the restless fence so let's go ahead and give him an oops yeah okay i, I was trying to explain the, the our shorts a little bit too much swung in Took an unnecessary casualty on there, but that's okay. That's okay. We do get into the, the, the Silex, and that this card is crazy. I'm telling you right now, this card is absolutely nuts. So, I don't even know if we're going to need it, but I guess we might as well play it down. We don't really have anything else. And I guess th these prairies are really just getting um, put on the back burner, just so that we can go for Get Lost. I don't want to have anything coming tapped. Soren. Hello, Soren. I bring order. Hmm. What you gonna do for me, Soren? Two, three black vampire. That's fine. We can even get lost on Soren himself. I you think I might just do that. Yeah, with the, with the Silex though, that's why I'm not running uh, Ossification either. With the Silex, just because it blows up the board, and then your Ossification is gonna give whatever they have back. So that's why I'm not running Ossification, because the Silex is like kind of like the core part of the deck. Unfortunately, our Sanctuary Warden does not have a shield counter on it anymore, so the Silex, even if we do use it, 
not gonna really work out for us. Guess we'll take this. It does have lifelink, it's fine. We're not really an we're not really an aggro deck, so the lifelink isn't that bad. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and get loss on you, just so that we can swing it on Soren. It is a little risky though, if they do have, you know, a kill spell of some sort. I don't think we have the means to kill Soren, so it's a little risky, but I'm willing to risk it to get the biscuit. And if not, we got the Silex, but. What's always nice about the clay fired bricks is that we can exile the sil the silex with the clay fired bricks. So it's you don't ever have to just blow up the board to use it. There's two ways to use it, which I really really like. I think we're gonna go for the restless prairie here. Let's go for restless prairie swing in because this powers up our creature token. So I think we can do this. Let's swing in you. I want to ensure that Soren dies, even if they have spot removal. So let's go ahead and do this, and that'll pump up our creatures. Okay, looking good. Yeah, looking like we're most likely going to craft the um, the Silex with the, the bricks. Let's go ahead and play our puppy dog here. Draw a card. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're looking pretty gosh darn good. Another clay fire bricks. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're looking pretty good here. What you got for me? Oh, okay. That, that, ooh, that changes the game up a little bit. Okay, now we got a game. Let's see what they take. Oh my gosh. All right. So, Breach the Multiverse. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, I guess they're running big score, like Breach the Multiverse, but they also have like early vampires. So, like, I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. But I, I haven't even checked. I haven't even checked it. Oh. Oh my god, it's Holly and Nissa. Okay, this is bad because if they're in Oh and an Evelyn and another Nissa, okay. Oh god. Okay. Well, I was talking my smack. So I'm assuming they're gonna take the Nissa and then just use the minus one to get rid of the Silex. That's probably the most obvious thing. Because if they well if they don't, I mean we can clear the board, but I'm assuming they kinda know. Oh, that was a mistake, and I think we're gonna capitalize on it. Okay, let's. Okay, they they did not remove the Silex. Why? Let's not drop our land. I'm not gonna drop my land drop here. Um, these don't have reach, so I guess we might as well swing. I'm I'm blowing up the board. I don't know why they didn't get rid of the Silex. Did they just like forget about it, or they didn't not not know its capabilities? Either way, let's go ahead and punish them. Let's get their let's get our damage off. I mean, the board's gonna go bye bye. No more shield counters, but that's okay. We don't really need it. And let's go. Let's go for the Silex here. Yeah. Let's do it. We can actually use the two and auto pay here, and we're gonna grab a Planeswalker too. So let's go ahead and grab the Eternal Wanderer for free. And yeah, let's keep one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. I guess we might as well keep the forest just because we have Nissa. So, and the whole board's gonna go bye bye unless they, yeah, they don't. They're tapped out. They have only they have map tokens, not treasure tokens, and the whole board's going bye bye. I mean, they they screwed up big time here. Now you they like they pretty much just had the game in the bag. All they had to do was take Nissa. Oh my god! Yeah, they they screwed up so bad here. All they had to do was just take Nissa and just remove the Silex. I mean, it was right there. I mean, again. Excuse me. Because they are like a Rakdos player, maybe they don't play Nissa. They weren't like really even like cognizant of that, or maybe they just didn't know that the uh, Silex blew up the board. But now we're looking really good. Okay. Oh God, more sweats. Okay, I thought we were looking good. This game has been pretty crazy. Blood Vile Purveyor. We can probably handle that. We have the Eternal Wanderer and my Thrun. You just took my Thrun from me. Oh my gosh. All right, so Thrun's only indestructible on their turn, which again is why we wouldn't like to populate. So I guess we'll get rid of one of these clay fire bricks and then God, we could go for treasure map. We could go, I, I think it's probably better that we just like draw. So let's go ahead and just do the spirit of companion. March, okay, we, we like that. So if I go for, if I go for wanderer. We could pretty much just leave them with a purveyor. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. That's fine. We get we get a blood token too, so hey. 
That's cool. And let's let's waste absolutely no time. We're gonna have to take care of this board here. Make room. Maybe we should on the throne because I guess the blood wild prayer does get bigger when I cast stuff. March of Otherworldly lights off the table. I think we're just gonna go for the clay fire bricks. Yeah, we can't. We even if we exile the clay fire bricks, we're still one off. So yeah, I guess we will give them another blood token. So I guess that we're netting one positive life. We gain two, give them one for the blood token, and we have one last plain swamp. Swamp. One last plains. Did I say pl I said plain swamp? One more plain plains. There we go. So Emperor's gonna go down. I keep saying Emperor. The Wanderer is gonna we'll go down. I guess late. it's like the same difference. But that's okay. I think, I mean, I've said this before. I think that we're looking in a pretty good spot. I mean, we do have the March of Otherworldly Light. We can go for the Clay Fire Bricks now. I guess we might as well just do this. We do have these blood tokens. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well use the graveyard stuff. Really no harm in using the graveyard stuff. Sure. Go for the Clay Fire Bricks. That's fine. We also have a treasure map. I really like the treasure map. Didn't really make an appearance in this match so far. I guess it could. I mean, I don't know what they got going on here. And then, I don't think we're really that worried about the otherworldly light. Let's go ahead and swing in here. And I'm going to use the blood token. Again, we're still... We still have resources to use, so I'm not going to go for the restless prairie. I think we're just going to go for the blood tokens. And, I mean, they do have a big flyer in the air, so... If they drop another breach the multiverse... Okay, Markov. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And, oh yeah, I guess we, we probably should. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I was pretty much waiting for them to, like, play something else. But I guess we do give them an extra two power this way. Probably miss the timing a little bit on the March of Other Willy Light. But, eh, let's not use the Blood Tokens just yet. Okay, we can do this now. Okay. Besieged, probably not all that relevant. Another Rustless Prairie, okay. So, let's get rid of the other prairie and see where we go. Restoration and a land, okay. Oh, hold on, I think we have... Do we have lethal here? The restless pra prairie pops up our whole board. I wasn't even really, like, praying on that, but... We could just go for game here. March of Otherworldly Light. I don't think the Blood Vile Purveyor can even really, like, deal lethal to us anyway. So, let's just get rid of you, because it has lifelink. And then we're going to have enough. Yep, let's get rid of you. And then one, two, three, four. Let's play it on the forest so that we can eat one of the blood tokens. And then let's swing in here just in case they have removal and something crazy. And I think we're just going to take it. Prairie? As the great Bon Jovi said, living on a prayer. Re. Good game. Landros, how are we doing here? That's a, quite the exotic name. I like it a lot. Let's drop our prairie. Prairie. Prairie's looking good. I'm liking this card a lot. Especially in like this type of build where we don't really care about playing things on curve very much. Got the treasure map, which costs one. Got the prairies, nice and slow, but slow and steady. Wins the race. All right, Count Dracula. So we're going against vampires again. I've been seeing a lot of vampires lately. A lot of vampire, a lot of blood token. I'm not mad about it though. Let's go and drop our treasure map. I'm not mad about it though. I'm seeing a lot of the uh, like Innistrad vampires lately, but I'm not mad about it. It's about time they made a comeback. Uh, Acor Drinker, so this is a Phyrexian Vampire. Okay, no big deal. Down to 18, we can handle that. And let's just go for the Restoration of a Ganjo. I forgot how good Restoration of a Ganjo is. I mean, it is truly, like... I really forget sometimes, because I haven't played with a Ganjo in a while. It's a powerhouse. I mean, just add a planes, very good. And then you get to play something for two for free. Like, if we have a treasure map, or if we have a clarifier bricks, you literally just get to play it for free. You could ramp with a land if you have too much land. And then you get a creature. I mean, wh what a card. So they're going to convoke. Okay, so they're nice and wide. We don't have our uh, board wipe here, but as soon as we do, it's going to be pretty bad for them. So let's go ahead and drop this. And again, we just get a free clay fire bricks. I think I'd rather do this. I'd lean this rather than just playing down another land. Yeah, let's do this. Then we have the get lost and then the treasure map. We could have done that if we would have ramped with the land, but I think I kind of like getting clay fire bricks out too. So let's see, I'll probably just get lost on one of the barons there. Ooh, Vron. Okay, let's... Whenever another creature dies, so if we're going to kill something, let's do it now. Let's do it now before Vron gets their extra damage in. 
Are we also weaken the board this way. Yep. So no extra life for you. I think we're just gonna take. Yeah, I mean, we're not, we're at, we're still at twenty. I mean, I know the the board is pretty scary here. Next turn, let's see what we can get with the treasure map. Worst case scenario, we could go for Nissa, but then we have to pay four, and that's not really ideal. So maybe we should have used the restoration, but let's let's do the treasure map. March of Otherworldly Light. I think we're gonna have to keep that. Yeah, let's keep it. All right, let's drop you. And we also get this blocker now. Yeah, I think we are okay to drop the planes. Because if we don't get into six planes with the Sanctuary Warden, feels pretty bad. But now we can just drop the Nissa too. Uh, or we can go for March of Otherworldly Light and then use the treasure map again. I think that's probably a little bit better. Plus, going for Nissa for five feels a little thin. So let's go for March of or Otherworldly Light and then go for treasure map. Okay, Bloodcaster, not a big deal. Um, I mean, if we get to depopulate, sacrifice another creature, so they can just sacrifice, this is like an outlet, so they can just sacrifice this at pretty much will. So I think we're going to use March of Otherworldly Night now. Because they can just use, yeah, let's, let's just do this just now, and I guess we're going to go for Vron. I don't know if it's Vrain or Vron, I still don't know, but I don't, I don't care. We're just going to go ahead and use this, goodbye. Exile, we could go for the Baron as well, but if they've, they've got this, I think that's a little bit more of an annoying combination. Plus, yeah, they, yeah they, they don't even attack at all, and I think they should have attacked, because we are definitely going to win the Marathon here. We get the Silex, okay, that is wonderful. I don't think we're going to play it this turn, but we, we absolutely love this card. So, man, should we play it though? I think if we if we go for treasure map, the treasure map's about ready to, to find the treasure, so I think we actually just do this. We do for one, we are gonna get three tokens this way. So if we go for the Silex and the treasure map, we can blow up the board. Hmm. Just kinda I'm just kinda mapping, pun intended, how I wanna play this out. So we could just go for Sanctuary Warden. I don't wanna I don't wanna keep him waiting too long though. We're the we're a hero of the people. So land, I guess we can I guess we can take land. If we blow up the board, we are gonna need more land anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. And I said we could blow up the board. We could just drop the Sanctuary Warden. We do have to get a shield counter this way. I think we're gonna lean doing this. So I think we're gonna at least bust one of these open. I don't really want any sort of um anxiety over the damage coming in. I think we got it plugged up pretty good. Down to 13. No Vron to worry about. This is not good on its own. So we could swing. I guess we could have swung in there. Create a 1-1. One, one. Probably should have, but I'm kind of just still mapping out how I want to do all this uh, treasure token. Yeah, we probably should have swung in. That was kind of... Well, yeah, probably should have. Okay. Creature of the Schism. Okay, this is not a big deal. We can handle everything. They don't have any way to protect this board. And uh, the Silex is going gonna, is gonna to take everything out. I'm going to use it. I want to make sure I use the treasure tokens. And with the Sanctuary Warden, with, with the shield counters, and this is why we're running Titans. This is why we're running Thrawn. This is why we're running all this stuff. And not Sunfall. Even though Sunfall is pretty great. And I don't know. Wait, why are you swinging in? You know, why are you swinging in here? We get a free 1-1 one, one and they just die. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they get a blood token. I mean, do they really just want a blood token that badly? It's kind of odd. That, yeah, that accomplished like nothing. So let's not drop farmland. Let's let's bust these treasure tokens open. Because the, everything's going to go bye-bye anyway. So let's go ahead and use this. Yep, it's fine. Boom, boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend this night together. Let's go for Urza Silex. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we, yeah, and then we're going to be able to do this, and we get to get our free Planeswalker. This is good. I mean, this is looking good here. So I'm just going to blow up the board. I think this is pretty much a good game. Blow up the board with the Silex, and then we pay two, and then we're going to get a free, either a Nyssa or Eternal Wanderer or an Emperor, whatever we want. So let's, go, let's do this right now. Auto pay for two, ba-boom, ba-boom, and yeah, we can get another, we already have a Nyssa, 
So I think we'll take the Eternal Wanderer. And again, with the Sanctuary Warden, we blow up this board, but because we are cool and have a shield counter, our stuff lives, yours doesn't, and they know what's coming, and they just scoop it up, baby. Jax, how we doing here? That kind of gives me a... Oh, there, there's a mulligan. Well, let's go ahead and give you the friendly mulligan. Hello, Jax. Kind of reminds me of Jack and Daxter. I think... Because, I don't know, Jack and Daxter, especially the first one, where the, everything was all kind of nice before it turned dark and edgy in the second and third one, kind of reminds me of Selesnia, and we're playing Selesnia. So that kind of... I'm kind of getting some serious Jack and Daxter 1 vibes. Not 2. Not 2. That might be like more Abzan, I guess. Or maybe you just call Gary. Who knows? By the way, let's go and drop the prairie down here. This is going to come in tapped. And I think we might as well just get down the treasure map. Let's do this. And I think we're going to go for the scry. So let's put a stop at our at the our draw step. Yeah, let's put a draw step. I'm going to go for the, the treasure map before that we actually take our draw. I want, I want the scry to go through. So, yep, treasure map number one. And companion... I think no, we're just after land here. So let's go. Let's just go for land. Well, we get a companion anyway, but that's okay. It's not really the worst thing ever. We do get another draw this way. So draw a card, and there's our land. Get a restless prairie, and now we're looking good. So uh, should I attack? I guess we might as well. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, we might as well. And they trade. Wow. Okay. That's kind of strange considering they have a wedding announcement. I thought they would probably not. Okay. Takasia's welcome, so they're just looking to get major card advantage, but it's okay. We do have a Titan of Industry. There's a Nyssa. Um, that's fine. Maybe I should have done that same trick again with the treasure map, but I think I think going for Silex is fine, and then we can just treasure map on the back end. That's yeah, fine. Alright. Well, now we don't have to really put a stop on our beginning of our turn, because the we still have one left over for the treasure map anyway, so that's fine. Alright, so what is this like? What are we playing against? Abzan, mid-range, okay. So they do nothing, really. They don't have two white sources, so they can't have a Wandering Emperor. So let's go for treasure map. And, oh, there's an over, overgrown farmland, so I guess we, we're we definitely going to take that. So let's take away the stop. Okie dokie. I think we're just going to use this. I'm not too worried about anything else. We can get rid of one of these enchantments this way, too. So, treasure map. I guess we'll take the land. I do need a want lots of land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we can just drop the Titan of Industry right now. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, let's do this. Tight, let's go for Titan of Industry here. And I'm not going to put the shield counter on it. Even though we do have it to populate. Because I'm like fifth. fifth I'm like 90% sure they got something here. So, let's just go for... Let's destroy an artifact or enchantment and then just go for the creature token. Because if I go for the shield counter, yeah, see, yeah that's, that's a losing battle. Even though we do have to populate, and the shield counter to populate synergy is really cute, but not cute enough for a go for the throat. Definitely can't swing in here, so, eh. I think we're looking okay, though. And another go for the throat? That's fine. I mean, we gotta burn through their cards eventually. And because we got rid of Takasia's Welcome, they're gonna, they're gonna lose that card advantage eventually. So, one, two, three, four. I hope they go nice and wide because we have the Urza Silex. Like, we. I mean, we, we can. The world's our oyster here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay. I'm not sure when or where I want to play it. Ooh, so they're they're going wide here. I'm okay with this. I must bend realm breaker to yeah, this is fine. So, they're going to play down a Restless Cottage. I think we're just going to chump block because we're planning on blowing up the board. If they're going to start going wide and doing all this kind of crazy crap. I'm just gonna, yeah, this is fine with me. They play down, I, this is kind of surprising. Let's not play down the planes. We're gonna need some more land because they're all gonna go kablooey. So, they, man, this card is so freaking good. So, Urza's Silex. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. This whole this whole ma uh, game, I've just been pronouncing it Silex. If, if it's not, please correct me. But now, let's go ahead and get our free Eternal Wanderer. We could go for Nyssa, but we already have a Nyssa. Let's hedge our bets and take the Eternal Wanderer. Everything goes kablooey except for the Restless yes. Cottage, but eh, it's fine. Go through me. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Blow up the board, grab a Wanderer for free. We didn't even lose any lands, so looking good. Look good, feel good. Soren, plus one. Fine. Okay, I think um, I mean, we, could just, we could just slam down the Eternal Wanderer. 
Or we could just go for Nissa. I think we're just gonna go for Nissa. We can we don't even have to get out. Anytime you can drop full blown Nissa, I'm looking good here. Plus one. This I mean, Nissa is so freaking good, man. 8 8, 9 9, 10 10, 11 11. <laughs> what, what else do you want? We don't have any forests to even power up our stuff with the Nissa's minus seven, but it doesn't really matter. If you just get a big board, just giving them trample alone should be enough to finish the game. But I am worried because they are running white. I am I am a little bit worried about board wipes. Okay, so okay, so seal from existence. It took them a hot second, but I guess they had to think of it. So I mean, which with much of otherworldly light, we can just take care of that. One, two, three. I think yeah. Hold on. I think we've got enough land to take care of it. So um, before I do anything, yeah, I'm a little scared here though. I'm gonna swing in. This is a little bit risky, but. We're okay. Even I don't think. Oh, I was halfway expecting another like go for the throat or something like that. But even if they did have that and hit us with the with Soren's finisher, we still were okay. So I, I I think I was okay kind of playing that way. And yeah, now that we, now that they lost their Soren, I mean I think that we really took the wind out of their sails. Let's go ahead and do this, and we have just enough to pay this off. Yeah, this thing has got Ward three. Yeah, we're just gonna get our Nissa back, and that feels absolutely phenomenal. Goodbye. And hello, Nissa. Oh man. <laughs> Nissa is cool. I mean that that is um uh, I think that the the Phyrexian planeswalkers just have all like the coolest voice lines. I mean they are sinister, to say the least. I think I've said this before, but Luke Oh, Sunfall, okay. So our arch nemesis Sunfall again, not running Sunfall in this deck as it doesn't really make sense flavorfully. But we can just get—I uh, don't really care. I mean, it's just an incubate two token. We don't—I don't think we have to take Nissa. I'd rather just make a nine nine than get rid of your little two two. Just a cute little two two. We have a nine nine. So I think we'll drop Restoration of a Ganjo. This makes a little bit more sense, efficiency wise. Grab a planes, and then now with the planes and 